Ciao belli! This is our finished 2016 Honda CBR 1000 RR. It looks fantastic, but enough with the chit chat. Let's get on it. And this is the mountain of parts that came off the bike. Most of them, they're destroyed like the headlight, but some of them are actually serviceable. So they're not perfect, but in a pinch might help. So what I did with those parts, I put it in that box for the new owner. On our last episode, the bike was pretty much complete. I only needed a few minor parts and one major part to be able to ride. The major part I'm talking about is the exhaust system. As you guys can see, that is an OEM exhaust system. It turns out that across the pond in England, they have a ton of OEM exhaust for this year bike. It's small, it's compact, it's not the giant cannon that came with the previous model CBR. So I think for $120, that's a great choice. This is a fantastic bike. But you can't just willy-nilly put the fairings on and go ride it after you do a full rebuild. So I made sure that the bike was rideable. I put on the older fairing, the few pieces that I needed to keep the headlight in place and the tank cover and the tail. And I went riding for about 100 miles. to make sure that before I cover up all the important parts in there that there were no fuel leaks, no oil leaks, no any fluid leaks from anywhere, no weird noises and nothing that I would have to take apart a brand new fairing to get to. After that when I came back and I figured out that the bike was actually good to go it was time to add uh, the fairings. The bike rides like a dream. It's so smooth, it's so nimble. Uh, this CBR1000 literally rides like uh, a 600, other than for all the power <laughs> that this thing has. I thought that the 954 had a lot of power. The newer CBR1000 are a step above, while at the same time maintaining some of the comfort of the older bike. Obviously the riding position on this is more aggressive than the 954, but uh, well you can have it all, can you? So at this point the only thing left to do for me is to ride the bike for about a thousand miles, making sure that nothing falls off of it, and then it's ready to be sold. Yes, as always, I'm going to sell the bike and with what I make of, of it, I'm going to get something else and either rebuild it, review it, modify it, you know the spiel. To finish up, let's take a good look at this fantastic set of fairings. First of all, let me say, just like a goldfish, 30 second memory, I ended up buying another anti fairing fairing. Um, this time around, the fit was spot on. Like, I didn't have to warm up or bend any pieces. This color scheme looks fantastic. The white, the red, the blue, the HRC colors in this paint scheme, ooh, they're, they're 
gorgeous. And then one of the main reason why I decided to go with this paint scheme is because the bottom portion of it was black. Most of the other fairings I looked at, that either was white or light gray. And if you rode a bike for any amount of years, you know that that part down there, it's horrible to keep clean. So a darker color, it's what it goes down there and it looks great and it matches the rest of the bike. The white one was just, who it's like wearing white pants to go hiking. It's not gonna last. And the tail, the tail being red with a little bit of blue, uh, I thought this was really spot on rather than some weird color and stuff. And so color wise, it'll, it looks great. The only flaw of, these, uh, of this fairing, it's possibly the clear coat. Don't get me wrong, the clear coat is well done, meaning there are no leaks or there are no bumps or there are no weird squiggly thing going on, but they probably should add two, maybe three more layers of clear coat because when you put the fairings together on some corners, it's easy to get through the clear coat. So that's my only gripe with the fairing, but for the price, considering that this is cheaper than what it's considered the best fairings out there, uh, I think uh, it's, uh, it's a good compromise, especially because I think that the best fairings out there come exactly from the same place. Uh, I'm starting to think there is some white label uh, deal going on. They buy the fairings from the same place, they slap on their name, jack up the price, two, three hundred bucks and sell it to you. So I wasn't willing to spend a thousand dollars for a fairing. I spent half of it and the bike looks absolutely gorgeous. Well, we are done for today and we are done with our 2016 on the CBR1000RR. So the only thing left to do is to wait for the sun to come back out here in California and go ride this bike for at least a thousand miles. I'm really excited to see what this can do against most of those fancy posh European bikes that my friends sport every time we go riding. Other than that, obviously I'm going to make a full review and a whole bunch of videos on this bike. But at this point, thank you very much to my patrons. You guys are the best. For everybody else, join the Inner Circle either on Patreon or on YouTube. Become a member for anything I used in this video. Check the description down below. And die a tutti. And I'll see you next time.